Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I go about cleaning my shoes. Now, it's something that I do every single week as a reseller and I, I try to do it on a Monday morning because it's not a task that I typically like to do, but uh, we're gonna get stuck into it today. I'm gonna to bring you along for the ride, show you how I do it, show you the cleaning supplies that I use. So hopefully you get a bit of enjoyment out of this one. The shoes that we're gonna be cleaning today are these. So they're the Jordan F2Fs. Uh, I picked these up, 2010 model. Uh, in an op shop uh, a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, there's a few different scuffs and stains and dirt that we can try and get off there. So I'm gonna show you the process that I go through to clean shoes and um, hopefully that helps you out there with your process because if you do clean your shoes really well and you put them into a really presentable condition, when you go ahead and you take your photos, you're a whole lot more of a chance of getting a few more dollars if you presented them and clean them in the right way. Uh, to the best condition they could possibly be in. So look, there's no guarantees that these are gonna come up a million bucks, but we're gonna do our very best today to try and make it so. And uh, yeah, figured we'd just get straight into this one and hopefully get some enjoyment out of it. Now the two main cleaning products I use for shoes are sugar soap, a really heavy duty grease and grime cleaner, just add a lid's worth into hot water and you're good to go. And gumption, a multi-purpose cleaner, mainly for bathroom and kitchen, but just always does really well on shoes. So these are the two products I will always use when I'm cleaning. One last look at the shoes, guys, before we get cleaning. There's pretty much a bit of work to be done all over here. I mean, I really want to get that dirt off the front toe, and there's going to be pretty much all over. I'm going to have to be taking dirt off, so there's going to be a lot of scrubbing to be done. The tongue needs a lot of work. I'll even take the laces off in a second and get started. Luckily, the sole's not too bad, but overall, I'm really hoping this turns out to be a treat. So to get things started, guys, I get two tubs. One is cold water for a wash down and the other one is hot water that I put my sugar soap into. I take the laces off the shoes and I also take the soles out of the shoes. And I first of all, will put them in the hot water with the sugar soap and just let them sit for the next 20, 30 minutes and let them just do their thing. Once that's all done, I then go ahead and grab the gumption. Now, guys, this stuff is awesome, but it is heavy duty, so you don't need a lot on your toothbrush. But once you've got your toothbrush, just do a light coating and then just do some soft circular motions all over the surface of the shoe until you start to see the dirt being removed. It doesn't take long and you don't need a lot of it. It always helps to add a little bit of hot water as well when you do so. Uh, links below as well in the description for this product. Now that we've got the gumption applied to both shoes, it's time to grab the sugar soap. And what this is really doing is basically a final removal of any of the dirt. So it's already in the hot water and you wanna just get a cloth and you wanna cover the entire shoe scrubbing away to remove any of the excess dirt left over that the gumption hasn't been able to pick up. The gumption's pretty good, so it should have got most of it, but hopefully with the sugar soap, it's just gonna be that final touch to make it sparkling clean. Really important to clean the soles of the shoes as well, guys. So I always typically do this last after I've done the main surface of the shoe. So I'll give this one a really good scrub. Fortunately, in this case, there's not too much wrong with the soles. So there's not gonna be a lot of work here, just some sugar soap applied. important as well before you finish off is to just wipe down the shoe with water. So take your second bucket, get the cold water, just cover the entire shoe. What this is doing is taking off any excess sugar soap. If you didn't do this step and the shoes were to dry, you may see some white marks covering the shoe because of the sugar soap being left on it. So you've really got to make sure that comes off.
cleaning's now done, guys. I take the soles and the laces out of the sugar soap bucket and I put the shoes and everything else out in the sun to dry for about an hour. So the sugar soap and the gumption has definitely done its job. There's been a lot of dirt removed here, so things are starting to look a whole lot better. But I'm noticing that there are a couple of scuff marks that aren't going to be removed by the cleaning products all over the shoes. So with these marks, I'm going to take a bit of paint and I'm just going to do a little bit of a light touch up to see if we can remove or cover up these marks. So to get the job done here, guys, I use a Art Culture Students Acrylic Paint, um, just a really small bottle, 75 mils, doesn't cost too much, you can get it in the shops, but um, this white paint is really, really good because it's not too thick and heavy, um, so it's not going to make a real discrepancy on the colour of the actual shoe itself, so hopefully we don't notice too much here, but I'm only going to put a light coating onto a very small and thin paintbrush and really only just cover up the marks that I want to be cleaned up, not the actual paint or panel of the shoe, but just the marks that I want to fix up and hopefully we'll see a good result. Time for the final reveal, guys. This is a fairly average pair of shoes turned into what I think is a pretty good result. We've been able to get the gumption and the sugar soap and the paint into this one, and it's come up a treat. I'm ready to get this one onto eBay, and hopefully it sells really quickly. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've got a bit out of this one. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Can't wait to give you the results on Sunday's episode. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>